And there we go. 100%. We finally did it, everyone. We reached the Biosphere stage, which is the final terraforming stage. But with that, we also unlocked the extraction platform. We are allowed to leave. We came to this planet as criminals. We, uh, we supposedly made the government a fuck ton of money, though. They have, like, an entire planet to rule over again. So let's see what the extraction platform costs. Fusion cell, energy multiplier, yikes. Well, actually, it isn't actually that bad for this stage in the game. So I will admit the 5 TTI wasn't as bad either as I expected. Because I basically played on this world for, like, at least 100 hours, right? And I was like, damn, we only have 2 TTI. It's gonna take me, like... At least another hundred hours of this, if we keep this up. But because we had so many supplies, I just made a crap ton of endgame stuff. Like tier 5 drills, stuff like that. And we very easily managed to get to 5 TTI within a couple hours, which is ridiculous. Alright, let's see. I think I want to have the platform here. My goals for today are to complete all three of the endings. We know the game has three of them because there's three hidden achievements that specify leaving the planet with different people, with Smugglers, Central Corp, as well as the Warden's Portal, which is probably the most interesting one because the Wardens were the ancient people that lived on this planet. Now, most likely, we'll start off with Sentinel Corp. And from there, we really have to figure out how to... Well, Get the others. But something tells me we're gonna figure that out once we build this behemoth of a launch pad. So let's see, how is this gonna go? Error, hide interference level detected. Please destroy the interference source to be able to receive extraction. Anomaly location is over here, alright? Like hell I'm gonna remember this. <laughs> right, I'm gonna have to screenshot this real quick. 700 and basically 23. Whereabouts is it? Where were the coordinates again? The bottom left. It is a long ways that way. And actually, since it's talking about an anomaly, right? I wonder. Because this is way too high up. We have to go down. Over here, I do happen to know that there is some strange energy signal. Now, if this corresponds to the same location, it kind of looks like it does. Although it is higher up. But I guess it is over there, so... A new message received. Wish they send me this while we're at the base. Large explosives placed under the Warden's anomaly to trigger. You'll be able to quit the planet. So it is what I thought then, wasn't it? Let's go check it out still though. See if anything changed. So this is what I was thinking about. And this seems to match up a lot with the coordinates we got. Boink, boink. So we have to place the explosives down here. But yeah, this device was specifically built to keep humans out. Or I guess technically in. Because it will drain the ships, and that's why there's so many, like, crash landings here. Now, the funny thing is, is that they specify that it prevents us from communicating. Though we can still communicate, which is kind of odd. My guess on why that happens, though, is because the Wardens haven't been alive for, like, was it, like, a thousand years now? So tech definitely evolved. But I guess communication technology has evolved as well. Alright, I got all the supplies. Alright, let's go back towards the anomaly. Let's play some big boy booms. Can we just look at this? If we die, we just go back to the ship, which is... Or back to the base, which is what we want anyway. Boom! That's pretty sick. If the screen can stop shaking now, that'd be fantastic. Alright, something tells me we weren't supposed to just leave that way we were supposed to actually run all right sweet just restarting the save file works it's rid of all the shaking let's see what the message was about congratulations our sensors indicate you have successfully terraformed your assigned planet however our monitoring indicates that your planet has an anomaly that prevents us from colonizing it you must destroy this anomaly whenever using the departing blah 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 all right yeah it was basically just uh this is not an automated message with that, let's uh, leave the planet. And my only hope is that this doesn't lock us out of any of the other endings. Congratulations, you successfully terraformed this planet. 
You will now re-examine your sentence based on the various devastations from the rules that have that could contribute to you, or something like that. For the moment, you will remain in detention while your case is examined. The only issue I have is I had to restart the game, which means I had to save after we blew up the anomaly, which might interfere with a lot of things. Okay, it's saved like right before here anyway. In that case, I want to see how the explosion is actually doing. And after that, we go towards the final location that the story brings you to, or at least the warden's story. See if we can figure anything out. Well, it seems like the room's just blocked off, alright. Alright, time to find one of the other endings. Well, this place didn't really tell us anything new. It just tells the story of how the wardens are basically done living. So there's this whole area, but I don't see anything or any way for like, us to get over to it. Yeah, jumping off just kills us. <laughs> well, I'm kind of out of ideas on that front. So I'm gonna look up some clues real quick. Right, from the little tips that I read, we have to go to the Cenote, which my dumb, not English-speaking brain doesn't know what that is, so I had to look it up. They said it was like a sinkhole, and the only one I can think of that had anything to do with leaving the planet was this one right here, the Meteor Crater. Now, what confuses me about this is there is an achievement for getting to the Cenote, but I'm not getting it here. But let's head over to the other warden base which is this waterfall right here right at the top of the crater all we gotta do is just simply jump down and at the base behind the waterfall we can swim through and here is another pit that we can swim down i don't remember what we got from here i think it was just golden frogs right oh discovered a cenote biome yes we've discovered a lead the fuck is this the Warden Key Detector. Alright, interesting. So, we're gonna have to find 10 keys, and we have to put them in the extraction capsule. Where's this capsule, though, that they're talking about? We can deconstruct it, but it looks so cool. Ah, fuck it. Ah, it just gives us that. I was kinda hoping we would get the tiny chest. You know, I'm fucking stupid, ain't I? The extraction capsule they're probably talking about is the one that's, like, right next to the escape rocket. Alright, that has been decoded. We can now make the Warden Key Detector. Where about over here? Two solar, purple, blue, and circle. Alright, make that. How does it work, though? From what the description says, we have to equip this and explore the world to find hidden Warden structures. Oh, what is this? Oh! Wait, from how far can we see that? From a decent distance. Oh, but... Is this one of the keys? Oh, hell yeah. So we're looking for these kind of things then. This was in the waterfall biome. You can see the coordinates at the bottom left. That's pretty cool. I actually keep this here because I quite like the look. Oh, well, that's pretty good. Now at least we know what we're looking for. So my plan is, is I'm going to go through the biomes from volcanic to beach and then kind of zigzag my way to the other side towards where the warp core is. And I'll let you know along the way if I find any of the keys. Now, I will say it is quite evil that they don't make any noise. So you really have to look around. And also, while you can see them from a quite a distance. Oh, there we go. Here's another one. Right next to the massive crash site. But yeah, while we can see them from quite a ways out, you do still have to be somewhat nearby. But anything else in this game, I doubt that these locations are random. So if you were to go to some of them, or probably all of them, they would be there as well. I think I see another one right on the beach, right next to that crashed ship over there. Number three. Oh, there's one on this island here, right at the beach biome as well. Pretty nice. The fourth one. Oh, one in the meteor crater on the little island. We're already halfway there, and it's actually going pretty quick. Oh, I can see another one popping up at the, I guess, waterfall or sandfall area. This is right where all that uh, gas is. That gas biome over there. I guess I'll show you real quick. For people that don't know this sandfall biome. So this is all the toxic gas. It's pretty close to the spawn. Yeah, it's like right here. And then spawn is... Well, the original spawn anyway was like right to the side of it. And the waterfall is like right below us. Well, the crater is right below us, but the waterfall is next to it. So far, I'm glad to inform that they're not located in any caves or anything. Which is probably done on purpose, because my god. I almost missed this one because of all the golden butterflies. This is right next to the giant battleship that can be found on the map right here. This holds number seven. Only three more to go. Oh, 
I just blew straight into this one. I barely even see it. This one is uh, pretty well hidden, not gonna lie. Because it's just so dense here. I found one in the... I think this was the grasslands. One of the new biomes. This makes number... I think it was number 9? Yeah, it's number 9. I will imagine that there's more than 10 with how fast we've been finding these, though. When I mean, having the max jetpack upgrade and all the agility boosts, this is actually going pretty damn quickly. Nice, I found one on top of the pillars. And whatever the heck this biome is, I think we're in the middle one on the middle pillar. That looks about accurate. But there we go. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So I'm going to have over to the warp core as we do have a teleporter there. I just came here to fill my water gauge, and I saw some sparkles here. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> there's one right underneath the warp core. Oh, that's cool. We got 11 then. So yeah, there's definitely more than 10, which is why I've been finding them so quickly. I guess we can put this one in the museum then. I mean, we may as well. We have this extra one anyway. All right, let's put all of this in here. Does this open up? It still just says leave with Sentinel. This is 10, right? Like, I'm not stupid. I am bloody stupid, man. This is only nine. How the hell did that count? Did I put one in here by accident? Oh, I did put one in here by accident. Whoops. I was like, I'm sure I counted 11. Right. Anything else pop up? Oh, leave the planet. Trust that some wardens are still alive and will accept you. Let's go. We're out of here, fools. Oh, wow. Just open up the giant ass port. Look at how small we are compared to the portal. There's no way we missed that. Those who follow us know that our destiny is debt of doom. Hope cannot be the only advisor. Sometimes life doesn't find a way. Sometimes the future is not bright, a warden. I wish we would see more of maybe ourselves in like the jail cell with the Sentinel Corp ending. And maybe whatever the wardens build up on a different planet in this ending. Instead of just text. Actually, I was thinking about finding more of these, but we can of course take them back. Because we already uh, did the ending. Yeah, I'll take them back for now. Slap all of them in the museum. I do wish they were... Rotated the other way around, though. Oh, we received a message. What's the message about? Oh, it's Riley. Okay, so this is for the smuggler's ending, I guess. We just had to wait a little while for Riley. But yeah, we need 500k and 5 solar cords, which they're not the worst to get. She advises us not to trust the Sentinel Corp, which I guess. They locked us up again, even after doing all this work for them, so I could see why. We're gonna have to get 500,000. Now, this should have been alright, since the portals gave us a ton of money. However, they heavily reduced that in this update as well. So now it's a lot harder to get money. Which really sucks, because it's already quite a lot. And I know you got a ton of money from these portals. But it just sucks that we don't have that anymore, man. But who knows, maybe it isn't actually as bad as I think it is. So I'll meet you when we have 500k. Alright, getting 500k tarot token was no easy feat. I have seen a ton of those portals now. But according to Riley, we need 500k tarot tokens and 5 solar ports. Now we can leave the planet with the smugglers. So I imagine we just shove the solar cores right into this box. Yep, and that unlocks this, space smugglers. And we're off again. Dude, this ship looks a lot... That actually looks pretty damn cool, this ship. It does feel like we're gonna miss it, though. They're not really aligned properly. We're just passing them. My friend, I know now you won't ever see you again. I won't ever see you again. Despite all you went through with lies, blah blah. There are things in this world that even you or I can't win against. Even though we thought... We would prevail. I would like this to be a happy ending, but I doubt it will be. But I doubt it will be. Good luck, Riley. That was the third ending for Planet Crafter. But now what, you might ask? We're absolutely bloody loaded. Not only in money, 
But yeah, my uh, storage system is just too full of all these items. And there's more in here as well. So I'm definitely going to have to figure that out. In the meantime, I did take a small break to get a couple more of the animals. So we got all species of variants now. And of course, got our old bad boy. Then this one right here, which I don't even know what the heck it is. It looks like shark, a turtle. It also has a ton of legs. And then there's this alien creature. But yeah, those were all the endings to Planet Crafter. Now, we are not done yet. I still have the museum to update with all the new animal-related stuff. And I bet there's going to be more updates later down the line. If there's anything you would like to see, leave it in the comments down below. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, everyone.